up next in the UFC heavyweight division collision. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing. And it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got Stryker, who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big punch lands through the middle. Way to hide that leg kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Hands up, hands up. Spinning back fist. Oh, a huge block there. And that one certainly found the target. 
Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big head kick lands. Looking to land the right just out of range. Big leg kick lands. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Real sneaky body kick. Nice kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Ooh, what a punch. Give me some head movement. Give me some head movement Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Oh, body kick attempt here is no good. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Lunges forward with a the left there. Oh, big head kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Working out of that southpaw stance. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Able to check that kick as well. And both guys really throwing with authority. back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Just missed with the left there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Take down right now. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, big punch land. with that right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. Big head kick land. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 20 seconds to go. Nice defense there. Huge block. Just out of range with that left hook. Second round, straight ahead. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. A good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. What a punch. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right hand upstairs! Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice punch lands over the top. Punch is blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice strike. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Connects with a right. And he landed the right hand there. Thirty seconds to go in round two. What a head kick. Now connects with a right. 20 seconds left. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Big punch land. Two rounds in the books. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All 
right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the position. Normally, you see that in boxes, where a guy just throws so many strikes. And this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Watch the shot. Flips that left hand. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He can't block the straight. Right punches there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Big head kick. man absorb before getting separated from his conscience. One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Liver kick. Let's go, kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. How good is that right hand? Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Kick attempt, that one was blocked. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Unable to connect with the right. That kick is good by Lee. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Right, well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Try to establish that jab. But a huge block! Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that will land it right on the spot. Unable to connect with a right hook. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Can't take many of those. You better check. Not there. Ten seconds to go. 
Nice punch here. Oh, nice. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Big kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice head kick. Great punch, landing with so much power. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Swing and a big miss by Lee. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Lee going for the body, miss with that kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh, Superman punch. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Right hand upstairs. No. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just misses there with the left. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man. Nice shot to the body there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Trying to double up on that jab. Just misses with the right. Nice knee to the body there. Got clip with the right hand. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo wheel, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Head kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Blocks the shot. Less than a minute to go in the round. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice straight punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 
right under the elbow by Ethan Lane. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Oh, big left hook there. Beautiful wide hook. Big power shot there. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is gonna have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Leg kick, beautiful punch. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow up. Seconds to go to decide this one. Nice leg kick land. Cable's inches right there, boy. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful body kick. One minute to go in the fight. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that will be the win right on that. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh, big shot lands. Big body kick. Oh, huge block. Straight right, he misses. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Oh! What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48 47. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the judges, leave no question, right?